everyone. My name is Amira Mond. I am the president of Carry Solutions. We have Jill Wright, provisional assessor and provisional instructor extraordinaire. Perfect timing with the little outlook chime. Uh, okay, and today, today the topic is scoping a CMMC level one assessment. More complicated than you think, less complicated than you think. Uh, so <laughs> I've got my magic paintbrush uh, app over here. But before we do that, let's look at the CMC level one scoping guide. Uh, so here's the real simple version of scoping for level one. We have two broad categories. We have assets that are in scope for assessment, and we have assets that are not in scope for assessment. And it's it's either yes or no, in scope or not. It's super simple at level one. So the way you tell whether something is in scope for assessment at level one is Primarily, is it an FCI asset? Meaning, is it an asset that processes, stores, or transmits federal contract information? If it is, we're going towards in scope. There's a little bit more nuance, but pretty much going towards in scope. So, what is federal contract information? It is any information related to the performance of a federal contract, which is not intended for public release, with the exclusion of transactional accounting information. So if you're sending invoices related to the contract, it's not FCI. If it's intended for public release, please put this out on the website, it is not FCI. Everything else is FCI. So, for example, almost every email that you will send related to the contract is FCI. Any report that you send related to the contract is FCI. Any CUI related to the contract is FCI. And I'm just going to stop for a second because we need to get this around our heads because this is a key thing for level one scoping. Everyone thinks that FCI and CUI are two different things. They are not. Here's the FCI circle in the world. And here's the CUI circle in the world. OK, so let me try and say this again I'm using wonderful paint. So here's what it looks like. Up here. We have all information in the world. <laughs> OK. In this middle area, we have federal contract info, FCI. And then down here, we have CUI. So all CUI is FCI. But not all FCI is CUI. Yes, I know. Like, what? <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so, and then all information in the world, remember, this would be publicly releasable contract info. Website. And, and it would also be transactional accounting info. OK, so we've got those exclusions. All right, so. Back to the scoping. Is it an FCI asset? Does it process or transmit FCI? Yes or no? Right. Is there federal contract information going through it from point to point, meaning your spam filter, your email server, your firewall? Uh, is it stored on your asset? You have it on the hard drive. Is it in memory? 
uh, memory is not a great storage example, but like a flashcard would be, um, a DVD would be writing it on a piece of paper would count as storing it on that piece of paper. Is it being processed by the asset? Is the CPU thinking about it? Is it printed by it? Is the antivirus reading it? Uh, those are pretty pretty straightforward. Basically, does does the thing look at view use FCI? Okay. Next we have. I'm going to skip down to specialized assets. Okay, so the reason why is it an FCI asset is not a totally black and white thing is because we've got this carve out for specialized assets. And specialized assets are basically types of assets that are hard to secure. So the government made a risk informed decision and they said, because it is so expensive and so hard to secure these types of assets, we're going to let contractors doing CMMC level one not worry about them. Specialized assets are not part of the level one CMMC self-assessment scope. Okay, so not only are they not assessed, they're just not in scope at level one. Okay, so specialized assets, even if they have FCI on them, if they are test equipment, restricted information systems, operational technology, Internet of Things or government property, it's not in scope, we don't need to know about them, we don't need to think about them, we definitely don't need to secure them or assess them or anything at level one, okay? There's no requirements around them. Even if they would normally be an FCI asset. Okay, does that make sense, Jill? It does. We're, we're, we're tracking? Okay, it, yeah. because the scoping guides have an issue, both the level one and level two scoping guides have an issue where they present this category Right. And then they present a conflicting category. Yeah. Where you can pick one or the other, mm -hmm. or you can be both. And if you pick both, well, then you're assessing specialized assets where they say don't assess them. Right. And if you pick one or the other, well, the specialized asset has FCI on it. So yep. would it be an FCI asset? Uh, but pretty much everyone I know, including me, thinks pretty obvious that the DOD intends us to ignore specialized assets that have FCI on them. Yeah. Because they made that category. If they if they, they wanted us right. to secure them, they would have just left out the specialized asset category. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the out of scope assets, which are simply assets that do not process or transmit FCI. Super easy. Okay. So we're looking at, let's look at our, let's make a little network here. So this is a network. <laughs> In case you didn't know, <laughs> there's the local area network down there is the line, and then here's some computers and stuff. Okay. So this one, has FCI. This one has FCI. And this one does not. So, does this asset store, process, or transmit FCI? It does. Yes. It's in scope. Does this asset store, process, or transmit FCI? Yes, it's in scope. Does this asset store, process, or transmit FCI? No. No, it's out of scope. Okay, super simple. Even though, even though these computers can talk to each other, even though they're on the same network in the same building right next to each other, 
even though this computer could get a virus and it could attack these computers, doesn't matter. It does not store, process, or transmit FCI. Therefore, it is out of scope. This is a decision that the DOD has made in the scoping guides to reduce costs for level one. Okay, now I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Let's add a CUI asset. Does this CUI asset store, process, or transmit FCI? Wait, do I see a nod? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> CUI is FCI. Right. So it is in scope. So when we're assessing this level one network, we're going to assess that, that, and that. And we're going to ignore this. And for anybody who's really paying attention, let's say that FCI is being transmitted across this local area network. So we would also assess the local area network. All right. So that's level one scoping. Wait, put put oh. a put a oh. CNC in there. Oh, a specialized asset. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um weird tool or something. So over here we've got a specialized asset which is operational tech. And it has CUI. Okay. So actually I'm getting this is this is too far. Okay. Let me back it up a little bit. <laughs> back up. Let me back it up. We're going to get there. FCI so this specialized asset has FCI on it. Is it in scope for assessment? No, because it's a specialized asset, even though it has FCI. Okay, now let's, let's go to the next level. For here, we've got a specialized asset. IOT. And now this one, I know I'm going to break everyone's brains. It has CUI. Is this in scope for your level one assessment? No, I think no. I think no. no. But if it, the people that have read the level two scoping guide and know about CMC level two are going to be like, what is going on? Of course it is. It's not. It's not. Uh, because at level one, it's very simple. Does it have FCI? Yes or no. Is it a specialized asset? Yes or no. If it's a specialized asset, out of scope at level one. Very simple. Okay, I know. Even if it has CUI, we don't we don't combine. Okay, so this is really really important. If you're doing a CMMC level one assessment and a level two assessment, because you do have an environment where there's CUI and FCI, don't combine the scopes. Do a level one assessment of the FCI scope. Do a CMMC level two assessment of the CUI scope. Okay, so let me let me actually break this down a little bit more. I'm gonna start over my diagram. So thank you, Jill, because you're you're getting me to dive into the real fun part. Okay. So you've got two networks in your company. Uh, one has some FCI stuff. It's got some nothing stuff. And it has a 
CUI asset. And then over here on the second network, you've got FCI stuff and nothing stuff. Okay, so when you're doing a CMSC level one assessment, your assessment scope is going to be these, this, and this, okay? So level one. Right? Everybody got it? Right. Okay, now your level two scope, which we'll get into again, but uh, right now your level two scope is actually going to look like this. And you're not even going to look at that other network that has FCI on it at all. All right, anything else for this session? Joe? Sure. I think I think that's good. All right. It's hilarious looking looking at this like if you didn't say anything. <laughs> what the heck? What the <laughs> heck are the squares? Yeah. Yeah.